the ASUS RTB 92 U TP-Link Archer GE 800 Ubiquita Unify Dream Router 7 Ubiquiti U 7 Pro Max and Netgear Nighthawk RS200 are the most popular Wi-Fi 7 routers of 2025, but which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in! First, we are going to compare them on the speed and performance category, which has a multiplier of 2. The ASUS RTB 92U is a powerhouse delivering up to 9,700 megabits per second across three frequency bands. It's perfect for 8K video streaming and cloud computing, but its high price might not justify the performance for casual users. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Next up, the TP-Link Archer GE800. This router offers impressive speeds with its tri-band Wi-Fi 7 capabilities, reaching up to 19 gigabits per second. However, its cooling fan can be quite audible under heavy load, which might be a downside for some. I rate it at 7.5 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 is built with a quad-core processor and 3 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, ensuring it can handle multi-gigabit data throughput. While it's not the fastest in terms of raw speed, its performance is reliable and consistent, especially for small business networks. I give it a 7 out of 10. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max, despite lacking a 10 gigabit per second port, delivers gigabit class sustained rates at a distance and close range. Its 2.4 GHz band performance is not as impressive, but for its price, it's a solid performer. I rate it at 6.5 out of 10. Finally, the Netgear Nighthawk RS200. It's a dual-band router, missing the 6 GHz band, but it still manages to squeeze better performance out of the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. Its speed is reliable, but it's not the fastest, and its network-attached storage performance is somewhat disappointing. I give it a 6 out of 10. In this category, the ASUS RTB92U takes the crown with its exceptional speed and performance, earning it 8 points out of 10. Next, we are going to compare them on the coverage and range category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The ASUS RTB92U is a router that delivers excellent performance for its specs, but its coverage could use some improvement. In my testing, it covered a home of around 1,600 square feet, or slightly larger. But the signal degraded faster over longer distances compared to other Wi-Fi 7 routers. I give it a 7 out of 10. The TP-Link Archer GE800 is a gaming router with impressive coverage. It managed to cover every corner of my 3,500 square foot home, including places many others missed, making it a long distance champ. However, its bulky design and audible fan might be a bit of a nuisance in smaller spaces. I rate it an 8 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unify Dream Router 7 offers a good balance of performance and coverage. It promises wireless coverage of up to 186 square meters, which is ample for a typical UK home. However, its reliance on a single PoE port might limit its appeal for those needing extensive wired connections. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max is a robust access point with excellent coverage. It can blanket around 2,500 square feet when placed at the center of a residential area, which is better than Ubiquiti's claim. However, it runs hot, and the lack of a 10 Gbps port might cap its full potential. I rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Finally, the Netgear Nighthawk RS200 is a surprisingly speedy router for its price. It promises wireless coverage of up to 186 square meters, which is quite impressive for a budget-friendly option. However, it lacks the 6 GHz radio, which might limit its future proofing capabilities. I give it a 9 out of 10. The Netgear Nighthawk RS200 takes the win in the coverage and range category with a score of 9, offering excellent coverage for its price point. Next. We are going to compare them on the security features category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The ASUS RTB 92U is a powerhouse when it comes to security. It features SSL encryption for login sessions, AI protection with trend micro integration, and robust VPN support. However, its high-end features might be overwhelming for beginners. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. The TP-Link Archer GE 800 offers a decent security suite, but it lacks some of the advanced features found in its competitors. It includes basic security options like WPA3 encryption and a VPN server, but it does not have the same level of intrusion prevention or regional blocking capabilities. I rate it at 6 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 stands out with its enterprise-level security features. It includes an intrusion prevention system, IPS, with deep packet inspection, DPI, and regional blocking to prevent unauthorized access from high-risk countries. However, its setup might be complex for home users. I give it a strong 9 out of 10. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max, while not a router, integrates seamlessly with Unify systems to provide robust security through the Unify controller. 
It offers real-time threat monitoring and automated mitigation strategies, but it lacks a local web user interface as a standalone AP. I rate it at 7 out of 10. Finally, the Netgear Nighthawk RS200 includes an OpenVPN server for secure remote access, but its security features are rather basic compared to the competition. It lacks advanced intrusion prevention or regional blocking capabilities. I give it a 5 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 takes the crown in the security features category with its comprehensive security suite, earning it a well-deserved 9 out of 10. Next, we are going to compare them on the ease of setup and use category, which has a multiplier of 2. The ASUS RTB92U is a breeze to set up, with its intuitive ASUS router app guiding you through the process. However, the web interface can be a bit overwhelming for beginners with its plethora of advanced settings. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. The TP-Link Archer GE800 is incredibly straightforward to set up, thanks to the Tether Companion app, which simplifies the process even for those not tech-savvy, yet its size and weight might make it less convenient to handle during setup. I rate it at 8.5 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 offers a seamless setup experience with its Unified Network Controller software, making it easy to manage your network. However, the initial setup might require a bit more time due to the need to install the controller software. It scores a 7.5 out of 10. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max is simple to set up and manage, especially when paired with a Unify router. But without a local web user interface as a standalone AP, it might be less user-friendly for those not familiar with the Unify ecosystem. I give it a 7 out of 10. Finally, the Netgear Nighthawk RS200 stands out with its user-friendly Nighthawk app, allowing for a quick and easy setup. The app's simplicity, however, means it lacks some of the advanced features found in competitors. It earns a 9 out of 10. The Netgear Nighthawk RS200 is the winner in the ease of setup and use category, scoring 9 points, thanks to its straightforward setup process and user-friendly app. Finally, we are going to compare them on the price to performance ratio category, which has a multiplier of 3. The ASUS RTB92U is a solid performer for its specs, delivering excellent performance during my week-long testing. However, it lacks a second 10 gigabits per second port and has mid-tier Wi-Fi specs, which might not justify its cost for some users. I give it a 7 out of 10. Next up, the TP-Link Archer GE800. This router offers class-leading performance across all bands and has a sleek design with RGB flourishes. While it's not the cheapest option, its street price undercuts rivals by hundreds of dollars, making it a great value for gamers. I rate it an 8 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 is a compact cloud gateway that integrates Wi-Fi 7 and 10 gigabits per second networking. Priced at $279, it provides significant advantages over standard ISP-provided routers, offering enterprise-level functionality at a lower total cost of ownership. It gets a 9 out of 10 from me. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max is an excellent Wi-Fi 7 access point especially if you already have a Unify controller. It's a minor upgrade to the U7 Pro, but its full potential is realized when paired with a Unify router. At less than $280, it's a great standalone option, but it lacks a 10 gigabits per second port. I give it an 8 out of 10. Finally, the Netgear Nighthawk RS200. This router is a well-performing, reliable Wi-Fi machine that's also easy on the eye. It's the best deal among Netgear's Wi-Fi 7 Nighthawk lineup for those needing a single broadcaster but it lacks the 6 GHz band and has a limited built-in free features. I rate it a 7 out of 10. The Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 takes the crown in the price-to-performance ratio category with a score of 9 out of 10, offering the best value for money with its integrated features and competitive pricing. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the Ubiquiti Unified Dream Router 7 stands out with its score of 80.75. As someone who's had hands-on experience with these devices, I can confidently say that the Unify Dream Router 7 offers an impressive balance of enterprise-level security features and excellent price-to-performance ratio, making it the ultimate choice for both advanced users and those just looking for reliable, top-notch connectivity at a reasonable price. Its robust security suite and seamless management software truly set it apart, making it a worthy investment for anyone looking to future-proof their network. While Ubiquiti Unify Dream Router 7 takes the crown, the other routers in this comparison each have their own strengths that might suit different needs. The TP-Link Archer GE800, with its score of 77, offers remarkable ease of setup and high performance, particularly appealing to gamers who value aesthetic design and speed. The SUS RTB92U combines robust performance and security, but at a slightly higher cost, scoring 75.5 overall. The Ubiquiti U7 Pro Max and Netgear Nighthawk RS200 also provide compelling benefits particularly if coverage and ease of use are your priorities. Each router brings something valuable to the table, ensuring there's something perfect for everyone. 